The NEM blockchain is a high-tech solution that sorts and keeps records of complex operations at high speed, with transparency and scalability to ensure optimal adaptability for almost any pre-existing system. There are many use cases where this technology is currently being applied, such as logistics, manufacturing processes, product authenticity certification, land ownership registries, and, of course, being the main core engine of cryptocurrencies. By having so many applications, the NAM blockchain has generated a supporting ecosystem where users from different areas, developers and investors, come together to empower and give value to the whole system. In this video, we'll explain how the NEM blockchain ecosystem is organized, who the key players are, and what they are responsible for. In June 2014, a group of developers took the lead of the NEM project that had been initiated on a Bitcoin Talk forum post. Since then, Jaguar0625, Jimbre, and Bloody Rookie took the lead coordinating the efforts of many volunteers to ultimately launch NEM's first public chain infrastructure, or NIS-1, in 2015. That same year, Tech Bureau announced Mijin, a private blockchain network specifically aimed at the commercial and financial sector, such as banks and insurers, companies that need faster and more versatile security features. The central core of this blockchain is essentially the same as NAM. From that moment on, an alliance was established that will result in two blockchains that work together, sharing features and complementing each other well from two sides, in a public chain available to all developers in the world who want to implement it, free of charge, and another chain, private, mostly for companies and groups that require more specific features within a private infrastructure. The next evolutionary step of this technology provided by NEM is Catapult, an even faster, more robust, and adaptable blockchain that presents better features such as aggregate transactions, multi-level, multi-signature transactions, and cross-chain transactions. In March 2018, Tech Bureau released the second version of Midgen, which is called Midgen Catapult, and so began the countdown to making Catapult's public network available to everyone as source code in late 2019. By itself, blockchain technology does not produce an impact or add value to commercial and social relations. Who sets the parameters of action? Who gives the money to make these entities work? Let's first check the private chain side of the NAM ecosystem. Our private chain is developed by the set of developers, as we said before, but it's the Japanese tech bureau that handles the products that may emerge from Catapult technology as well as manage commercial enterprise licenses of Mijin. Of course, the money for its operation is given by both the company and private investment, who require a service backed by a company such as tech bureau and venture capital investors looking for tech initiatives to invest in. And since we're talking about money, where do the funds come from to maintain the public chain infrastructure of our ecosystem? Let's take a moment to talk about SEM, a cryptocurrency based on NEM technology created by the core developers to allow projects to pay for public chain transactions and the infrastructure required to enable those. SEM's token generation and distribution event created an immutable supply of 9 billion SEM, they were distributed this way. A first part to original stakeholders who claimed their stake that was awarded for taking part in the initial launch work and forum threat. Then, a certain amount was extracted from this total and placed in reserve pools for various cases, such as NAM Community Fund, various operational costs, as well as one for marketing of products generated within the public chain. And finally, the core developers were also awarded a set of number of cents for their work in creating the solution to be released to them at various points in the development cycle. Now, all these funds are reserved in SEM. Its value is equivalent to that dictated by the cryptocurrency market. So the higher or lower the SEM price is equivalent value to meet the maintenance cost of the entire structure. Now, let's go back. The reserve funds are managed by the core team, who are a group of very long-standing and respected members of the community from the early days of NEM. 
Some of the research pools have since placed under the control of NEM Holdings in Gibraltar, or used by NEM Ventures and NEM Studios, and some under the Foundation Trust in Singapore, for use by the NEM Foundation. In the first place, we have NEM Studios, established in 2019. It's a unit for enterprise adoption strategy and back-end development whose main mission is to work with the core developers and other entities of our ecosystem in supporting the continued development of underlying blockchain protocol, REST APIs, and various SDKs. Then it's NEM Ventures, which is running since 2018. This one's the venture capital and investments arm of the NEM blockchain ecosystem. It promotes the growth of the ecosystem through strategic investments in projects which align with the NEM community's vision, mostly in high-tech investment in unique ideas. But maybe the most known among the three, also the oldest because it was founded in 2017, is the NEM Foundation. It aims to introduce, educate, and promote the use of NEM blockchain technology platform on a global scale to all industries and institutions. It's also responsible for front-end and client development of solutions such as wallets or blockchain explorers. The NEM Foundation does this by adding partner support, contributing code and tools to the platform, and providing education and training to our growing ecosystem. The ecosystem and entities work together, even if they depend on different governance structures. As you can see here, both NEM Studios and NEM Ventures depend on the NEM Holdings and Community Trust and the NEM Foundation of the Foundation Trust. But there's one entity of the ecosystem, perhaps the most important of all, that does not receive any kind of direct economic contribution, but can access all the hope of others in addition of managing itself with the same ease between the public and private chain. It's the NEM community, composed not only of the enthusiasts of our blockchain either in the public or private chain, but also of the projects that use it to be the most versatile and easy to implement. In our ecosystem, the community is constantly listened to. Their discussions in public forums and observations are taken into account in the development of new features of our blockchain, in addition of participating in the election of NEM Foundation authorities. Our blockchain is based on a robust ecosystem whose basic operation ensures a constant improvement in its products and services. If you want to know more about the entities named here, Check out the links we have left for you at the bottom of this video. Thank you for watching.